Weather today posing some risk for firefighters and for residents at a fire on Milwaukee South Side this morning. That fire broke out at an apartment near 39th in Greenfield. Almost a dozen people are homeless tonight as a result. But as Fox 6's Angelica Dury reports, things could have been a lot worse if it wasn't for one smart resident. I came back downstairs and there was smoke coming from my neighboring apartment. As soon as Fred Steve saw smoke on the first floor, he quickly ran to help. Punched the window out and then I shot the fire extinguisher. And as soon as I put it out, it seemed like somebody was in there with a lighter fluid can and a lighter and it would light right back up. And he tried to contain the blaze while 10 of his neighbors, including Nairi Raymond and her son, safely made it out. He helped save our life. He was throwing plenty of water, waiting for the uh, fire hydrant to get here and take care of the uh, water. And and the fire. Fire officials say the fire broke out just before 9 Tuesday morning. Within half an hour, crews were able to put it out. It was contained to one unit, but the smoke and water damage was too widespread to allow anyone inside. Because we've shut the gas and the uh, um, electricity off to the building, um, we're not going to be able to put anybody in there due to the cold. The cold weather also posed a safety risk to those responding. Once we uh, start working with water, it freezes, and in, in this case, it froze very quickly. Um, so we try and get some salt on that as quick as we can. 11 people are now without a home and are left waiting inside a Milwaukee County bus with just a few coats and blankets to keep them warm. I'm very cold. I have on other people's belongings. So I had to run out with him just in a t-shirt and drawers. I feel so, I'm not comfortable right now. The American Red Cross is currently helping those residents who are displaced. As for the cause of the fire, that remains under investigation. Reporting in Milwaukee, Angelica Duria, Fox 6 News. And fire officials say they also helped treat about three people with minor smoke-related injuries there.